Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. I am Samartha Grewal and in this video I am going to teach you how to implement Facebook login in your Ionic applications using the native method. So in the last video we have already implemented Facebook login but we did that using the web browser method. So if you haven't checked out that video there is a link in the description or you can click on the card on this video. Before proceeding with this video make sure that you have watched that video and then you can come back and watch this video. In this video, we are going to remove the web browser login from our Ionic application and implement the native method. So what happens in the native method is that instead of opening a web browser in our Ionic application, the native Facebook app which is installed on the user's device is used to authenticate our Ionic application to allow the user to be logged in. So as soon as you click on the login button, the native Facebook app opens up and if a user is currently logged into the native Facebook app, the same user requires to grant access to our Ionic application and once they grant access, the same user is logged in to our Ionic application. So let's see how we can implement that. The first thing that we'll need to do is install the Cordova Facebook plugin and for that you can head over to ionicframework.com slash docs slash native slash Facebook. Here you can find all the information that you need to install this plugin. So scroll a little bit and here you can find this command that you can use to install the Cordova plugin into your Ionic application. So I have here the old Ionic application which we created in the last video opened up and the first thing that I'm gonna do is just comment out all this code that we have written in the last video. I'll save that and now I'll open up a console and here I'll just paste in this command that I have just copied from the Ionic native website. And here I need to replace the app ID and the app name. So the name of my application is the Ionic School and for the app ID I'll head over to developers.facebook.com and this is the app ID of my application. So I'll just copy that, come back to my console right here in Visual Studio Code, paste it and just hit enter. So this will install the Cordova plugin that we require. The next step would be to install the Ionic native wrapper for this plugin. So I'll just copy this next command from here, come back to the console. So I'll just paste that command right here and hit enter and it's done. So now we are ready to integrate the Cordova plugin for Facebook in our Ionic application. We have installed that and now I'll just head over to my app.module.ts file and import that right away. I'll save it and now we are ready to use this plugin in our home.ts file. So I'll just import that right away in our home.ts as well. And I'll just pass it into my constructor as well. Okay, so now I can use this local Facebook variable. So let's just do that real quick. So I'll just start by using the Facebook login method. I'll just type in this dot Facebook dot login and this login function takes in an array of strings and these arrays are basically the permissions that our application requires. You can read more about permissions on this link. For now I'm just going to use the email permission that I'll need and once I'm logged in I'll execute this promise function and in this promise function I'll get the response and this contains the information of the user that has currently logged in. Now this login response contains an authentication token that we can use to register the logged in user as a Firebase user as well. You do not need to do this necessarily but if you want to keep track of all your users on Firebase then you need to execute this step. By now using this line of code our user is logged into Facebook and now we will use this login information from Facebook that we have got in login response to authenticate the user into our Firebase app as well. So this will create a user on Firebase. So we can use the firebase.auth function and on that we can call the function sign in with credential and this function takes in a parameter which should be a valid Firebase credential. So let's just call this variable as credential. We will create this object in just a moment and I'm just gonna call the promise on this. Let's say that we get the parameter called info inside of this and for now I'm just gonna alert the stringified info. Okay, so once the user is logged into Facebook, a user for the logged in user will be created on Firebase as well. And once the user has been logged in successfully on Firebase, whatever we get as the response from Firebase will be displayed to the user in an alert. 
so we are getting this error because the credential variable or object is not defined as of now so let's just create that and this credential as i told you is a valid firebase credential so we will use the firebase dot auth dot facebook provider dot credential inside this we need to pass in the access token that we get inside this login response object which we are getting as a result of successful facebook login so i'll just use login response dot auth response dot access token so this creates a credential object which we can use with the sign in with credential function i think we are good to go now Let's try and run this on the emulator. So I'll just type in Ionic Cordova run Android, hit enter. So we have our application running on an emulator and I'm just gonna tap on this login with Facebook button. And you can see that this time the web browser doesn't open up, but instead we get a pop-up in our app. And if you have not granted access to the application before, then you will be required to grant access. Since I have already granted access to the Ionic school app, I'm just gonna hit okay. And you can see that I get the same alert that we get in the previous video, which is the result of successful Firebase login. Okay, so this contains all the information which is returned to us from Firebase. So it contains the UID, which is the unique ID of every user on Firebase. It also contains display information, photo URL, and some other information. It also contains the access token, which you can further use to get more information about the user from Facebook using the Graph API. So now that we have all this information, we can assume that a user is logged into our application using Facebook. Let's hit OK here and let's head over to Firebase console and see if a user is showing up in the authentication section. So I'll just click on authentication and you can see that the same user is showing up but this time the signed in has been updated with June 14 which is today. Okay, so this is how we implement the native Facebook login. On the emulator, we did not have the native Facebook app. That is why we got that pop-up. When you test on a real Android device which has the Facebook app installed, you will get something like this on your screen and you will have to grant access to the Ionic School application so that the user can be logged in to your Ionic application. So this is it for this video. Let me know if you like this video and feel free to comment if you face any issues during the implementation of Facebook login into your Ionic applications. Thanks for watching.